This video is about the Lagrange point. The uh, China demonstrated that they can uh, launch the satellite and let it circle around the Lagrange point. Now let me explain what the Lagrange point is and how we can circle around the Lagrange point. Okay. The what's happened is China came up with this brilliant idea. It's so creative. I think it's uh, one of engineer over there must be a genius. The uh, they came up with idea to circle around the Lagrange point. Now. The, there, there are five Lagrange points on every two uh, uh, gravity point circling around. For example, Earth and the Moon have so-called Lagrange two point behind the Moon. And if you put this satellite here, it's going to circle around the Earth at the same speed as Moon. So it's a very stable point. And the China um, tested the circling around Lagrange point using uh, uh, Chang R2 in 2011. The Chang R2 fly and circle around the moon and depart the moon and circle around the Lagrange point in the halo of it. Uh, this is a halo orbit and circle around and left the orbit to the uh, solar orbit. Okay, that was 2011. And this time, last year, China deployed the Kuechao um, communication satellite. The communication satellite is orbiting. So if you put the satellite in L2 point, the moon is going to be in the way you can communicate with Earth. But if you circle around like that, then you can see both moon and Earth. So view is like this, view from the relay satellite. You can see both. So any signal go to the satellite and relay to the uh, the far side of the moon and the far side of the moon they send a signal and go to the earth so that was successfully done on Chen E Chen Er Chen Er 4 uh, moon lander on the on the back of the moon and successfully the video was sent out from there to the earth so we saw the uh, Chang R4 landing on the far side of the moon. So how does it work? How is it possible to circle around the Lagrange point? The L2 point is here, but it has to be slightly inward. The distance is LX. I tell you the reason to circle around. Okay, so this is a hole circular motion is also circling around the Earth at the same speed as Moon. So if Moon's angular speed is omega, um, the distance to the L2 point minus this is going to be, that's the um, uh, centripetal uh, force acting on this because it's going around Earth, okay? And this is uh, the composite of acceleration from Earth plus acceleration from Moon, okay? But what happened is, if you take a, a circle with a distance r from uh, Earth, and define the uh, orbit like that, then the distance r and up r prime will be same. So this factor is same, and this factor change. This factor how it change is this is a gravity to the moon. Say it's a, a 
moon gravity. Okay, but F M is going to be G M cos theta, and L M is G M sine theta. So this is going to be the this the the force uh, pushing this this satellite into the center of the halo orbit center O okay and which is slightly inward the reason I tell you why okay now the gravity um, it used to have a gravity GM now we have only FM which is slightly smaller okay so the in that case it doesn't balance out with this uh, um, acceleration it's received here this is the total acceleration so you have to um, go a little inward LX so what happened is distance LX is going to compensate of the loss of gravity change from GM to FM okay by cos theta okay so that's reduce uh, gravity but the um, distance gets shorter so the by getting closer to the moon the gravity increase that gravity gravity times cos theta is going to be fm which is original gravity this gravity gm so actually since it's move inward the gm is g prime m gm prime times cos theta is fm fm is equal to this you know what I mean so by moving inward the loss of the moon gravity is compensated but instead you get LM this LM is the whole reason why you can circle around actually L, not L2 point it's a little bit closer to uh, moon and this uh, detailed calculation can be done by computer and precisely find out where the orbit should be. So this orbit will be a little closer to moon from L2 point, but you get force, LM, because FM, this FM is a part of um, the acceleration cancelled out by centripetal force okay so as I said this centripetal force because this whole thing's moving at the uh, angular speed of the moon this entire acceleration is balancing out by the gravity from earth and the gravity from the moon which is now am is this guy okay so this LM is the reason why you can orbit around the L2 point it's not exactly L2 point it's a little closer to uh, moon and this gives you this breakthrough in the communication problem okay now as you know there are five Lagrangian point. This is Earth, this is the Moon, and the first Lagrangian point is here, second is here, and L3 is behind the Earth, and L4, L5 exists on the Moon's orbit. Okay, so the Everybody knows this Lagrangian point is a gravity stationary point. 
And what's happening is when the space garbage go there, for example, here or here or here, it's going to go round together with the moon forever. It stay there. But now we have a, uh, this new idea of circling around the Lagrangian point. We have a possibility of having the satellite here, and satellite here is possible too. The reason is you have gravity here and gravity here, and the what's happened is this gravity and moon gravity is cancelled out, and that's why L1 point is stable at same angular speed as the moon, and you can do the same way with this gravity and it gives the gravity uh, two gravity gives the force toward the center of this halo of it of it that means it's possible to circle around l1 point also and same way l3 l3 point and size of orbit depend on the speed of satellite so it can be smaller it can be larger so it's open up whole uh, entire world of the new way of having a satellite in the uh, uh, earth moon environment okay now what's happened is the sun and the earth has also Lagrangian point. The first one is here, another one is here behind the Earth and this behind the Sun, and four and five is Earth orbit. Okay, that means we can have a satellite here, or another satellite here, or a satellite here. This may be too close to the Sun, probably it's burning. Um, so it's a whole kind of possibilities. It's, it's not just a Lagrangian point, but we can have a satellite circling around which the orbit itself is moving all together with Earth. In this case, the orbit itself is moving together with the Moon around the Earth. Okay? This whole new territory to consider the space science the, we have all kinds of things we can do. Satellite, not only around Earth, we can have satellite here, we can have satellite here, we can have satellite here, and that can see the everything, Earth and Moon all together, all the time. If we do that here, we can have always 100% sun's energy while servicing the Earth. So this is a whole new territory of the science. So this was breakthrough, not just ideas, actually confirmed by Cheng E Cheng R four. Uh, sorry, I, I was saying Cheng E four, but in Chinese this E is pronounced R. So Cheng R four. Okay. So this is a whole new things open up by this Chinese brilliant idea of having a, a satellite circling around Lagrange point, and this is a breakthrough. It's uh, I think beyond Nobel Prize. I, I would say um, this is a very creative ideas uh, done by Chinese engineers. Okay, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please check others, and if you like, subscribe.